History, a word with a thousand stories, for within these walls there lies years of history. Generations of people have walked through the doors of these churches and prayed and left. But in this program, I will not talk about the people who prayed here, but what they saw and the hidden stories within these walls. These churches are in the South Kesteven district in Lincolnshire. They all date from a mid-medieval era and were originally all Catholic churches, but because of the Reformation, all these became Protestant and have remained ever since. Our first church is the Church of St. Margaret in the village of Braceby. It was built in the early 13th century. Parts of the church have been added during the 14th and 15th century. The church bells were built in the early 13th century, and one of them is the second oldest bell in the county, dating back to the late 12th century. The next church we come to is, is in the village of Haysby. The church here is St. Barbara's Church. This church was constructed in the 12th century and is mentioned in the Doomsday Book. The church is a Norman style design. The most notable feature of the church is the early Norman arch, dating from the 12th century. Graffiti can be seen in the porch, some of it dating from the 17th century and the 18th century. Inside the church, it features painted royal arms of Queen Anne. Queen Anne was Queen of England from 1702 to 1714. During her reign, England fought in the War of Spanish Succession and passed the Act of Union, uniting the countries of England and Scotland together. She was the last Stuart monarch to rule England. The next church we come to is in the village of Newton. This church, as well as Haysby, is mentioned in the Doomsday Book. The church is called St. Bartholomew Church. This church was built in the 14th century. The guest book in the church goes as far back as 1938. Inside the church, it features a memorial to King Edward II. Edward II was King of England from 1307 to 1327. His reign is remembered for many tragedies such as the Battle of Bannockburn and the Piers Gaveston affair. Edward II was deposed by his wife and his wife's lover. He was murdered in 1327 and England was plunged into anarchy for three years. It also features in the church stained glass windows featuring St Giles of Sepringham St. Hugh of Lincoln and the Virgin Mary. We go to our next church in the village of Pickworth. This church is called St. Andrew's Church. This church is a listed building and dates from the 12th century.
As well as Haysby, Pickworth has graffiti in its porch as well. Inside the church are walled paintings. These paintings show images of hell and also the Last Supper. These images were painted in the 14th century and were whitewashed over during the Reformation. They were discovered 400 years later after a Second World War bomb exploded in a nearby field, shaking off some of the paint and plaster. Also in Pickwick Church is a stained glass window of all the four saints of Britain. The next church we come to is the Church of St Nicholas in the village of Sapperton. The church was built in the 13th century. It's the oldest building in the village. The village of Sapton is one of the oldest in the area. It was originally a small settlement on top of a hill, right next to the main Roman road. Coins of Roman emperors have been found in the village. The next church we come to is the Chapel of St Anne in Great Humby. This chapel was built in the 17th century and was originally part of a manor house which is across the road. chapel is a Puritan chapel. The Puritans were a group of English Protestants who followed the teachings of the Bible. They saw no authority apart from the church. They did not believe in kings and they did not believe in any other forms of worship. In the eyes you're either a Puritan or a heretic. Their life was simple and this chapel is an example of it. church we come to is in the village of Burton Coggles. This church you see is called St Thomas a Becket Church. The church was constructed in the early 13th century. This church is named after Thomas Becket, the Archbishop of Canterbury who was murdered at Canterbury Cathedral in 1170. Inside the church it features two tombs of crusaders. These tombs descend from the third crusade. The third crusade was led by the kings of England, France and the Holy Roman Empire. Their campaign was to recapture Jerusalem from the forces of Saladin. These two tombs are of two crusaders from the local area who went and fought in King Richard's army. King Richard's army fought against the armies of Saladin, but they failed to achieve their goal of taking back Jerusalem. All these churches have been important to the area. They're a place of meetings, discussions, conversations, weddings, funerals, christenings, and of course, for prayer. Generations upon generations of people have come to these churches and hopefully many will still come and bring loads of more stories to the churches. Thank you very much for watching this. Goodbye.